It's that much rain and everything yeah, here. It's a lot of water. It is a lot of water. And this morning we're starting off with a few light showers. Nothing like that, obviously. But this is what it looks like on our Storm Shield radar. Let's zoom into some of the spots where we're seeing a couple of these showers and thunderstorms developing. Pawnee, you're waking up to a little thunder out there. So if you're not awake, you probably are now with all the rumbles of thunder. Uh, also near Hominy, Cleveland, uh, and then up towards Fairfax, dealing with uh, some of that moderate rainfall. To start, Pawhuska, you're just on the edge of that. So it's probably a nice little light show, actually, if you walk out the door. Back in Tulsa, we're looking at partly to mostly cloudy skies right now, but it is dry for us to start. Temperatures, though, are in the 70s with calm winds. It's 74 in Tulsa. We do have a few 60s out there, upper 60s, Bartlesville, Coffeeville, Joplin, and then south towards McAllister at 73, 75 in Okima this morning. Future track shows scattered showers and some storms, of course, like we were just seeing across the area through the first half of the day. We're giving it about a 50% chance for seeing some showers and storms today. Pretty scattered in nature, I think more so than what you just saw on that future cast. There'll be kind of pop-up showers here and there. The high will top off at 89, so it's not going to be as hot as it has been. As we take a look at that seven-day planner, though, heading into the holiday weekend, it's kind of a mixed bag. We're seeing mostly sunny skies with 96 on Saturday, so nice and warm uh, with a Lots of sun, but then Sunday the rain comes, and we'll be looking for rain for most of the day Sunday and Sunday night. Some thunderstorms as we move into Monday for the 4th of July. Now, for Monday, the first half of the day, we should see some showers, and then fingers crossed it should make its way out of here by Monday afternoon and evening. Tuesday, a few scattered showers left, but things should start to clear for us, and then they really warm up. So, we're going to get up into the upper 90s, hitting near triple digits by Wednesday and Thursday. Let's look outside.